Hey Faith World, thank you so much for tuning in to The Voice of Faith. As you hear this message, we want to build up your faith and build up your hope in the Word of God. Check out this message from Pastor Lisa. Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in to our Voice of Faith uh, broadcast. What a wonderful thing to be able to come together this way and gather around the Word of God. I can't think of a better thing that I like to do than get in the Word or talk to somebody about the Word. And I think my husband and I, those are some of the best times we have together is when we just sit down and uh, we talk about the things that we're both learning from God's Word and things that we're seeing from God's Word. You know, and it just lifts you up. We really need to be lifted up. Our heart be lifted up. Our thoughts be lifted up. Um, and the Word will do that in your life. And that's the reason for these Voice of Faith broadcasts. You know, we want you to be able to tune in and just get a little snippet, just get a little nugget uh, of something from God's Word that'll lift your heart and sow faith into your life. You know, where, where we hear the Word, that's where faith begins to grow. Amen. So turn with me, if you would, to there's just a couple of scriptures I just want to share with you tonight about prayer. We've been talking about uh, our prayer life and scriptures that give us instruction about that. Luke 18 is one of them. We mentioned it before. But I just, I just love this verse. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end. Listen to this, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Jesus said that we ought to always pray. And this is for every person. This isn't just for some. This is for all. God's people need to be praying in every season. I know sometimes people pull back a little bit from prayer if they get um, to a place in life where they're going through something. But you know, really, that's when you need to press in all the more. You don't feel like it, but you need to. You need to pray over that situation. You need to pray over your own life. And here's something else. You need to pray for others. You know, the Bible says, pray ye for one another that ye may be healed. Um, I'm always reminded of Job where it says that, that God turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for he is friends. And so if you're, if you're going through something, really that's, a, that's the time to start really putting it into another gear of not only praying for yourself, but praying for other people. And I just want to put a, little, um, uh, put a little bug in there, put a little bug in your ear about something. One of the people that you need to pray for is your pastor. I hope you have a pastor. If you don't have one, get one. <laughs> you need a pastor and you need a local church, I can't imagine going through the last days without a pastor uh, to, to feed you the Word and to give you uh, just a, a prophetic word from God, a word in due season, a local church where you can go and worship together and just be uh, lifted up and encouraged in that environment uh, of a faith-filled, spirit-filled church. You need that in your life. If you don't have that, let the Lord lead you. Ask Him to. He'll lead you to a pastor. He'll lead you to a good church. But you know, ministers right now need the saints praying for them. We need to come together and pray for one another like never before. Paul said something. Let me read this to you from 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 11. And I'm going to read it out of the Amplified Classic. This is the Apostle Paul. He said, while you also cooperate by your prayers for us, helping and laboring together with us. Paul is saying to these people, and he said it over eight times in, in the scriptures where he asked them to pray for him. He says, and for me, pray for me, pray for the saints, but pray for me. He's saying here, I need people who will come together and labor together with me, come alongside me and pray for me and be a prayer partner for my ministry. You know, if you have a church or a ministry 
that you receive from. Maybe it's Brother Copeland. You know, maybe it's um, maybe it's Rama. Maybe it's Creflo Dollar. Maybe it's uh, Joseph Prince. Whoever it is that you receive from, including your own local church, you need to stand with them in prayer and be a prayer partner with them. You know, pray for them personally. Pray for their family. Pray for their health. You know, pray for their uh, for, you know for their finances. Pray for the ministry. You know, pray for the vision of that church or the vision of that ministry to move forward unhindered and, and for it to just uh, have tremendous fruitfulness like never before. We need that. We need people that will come alongside us and support us in prayer. You know, <clears throat> ministers, when we get the chance to talk to you, you know, we want to give you the word and give you things that build up your faith. We don't talk about certain things. We don't talk about how sometimes um, there's weariness in ministry. Sometimes you just get attacked from every side or, you know, we just don't magnify those things when, when we talk to our congregations because it's not really edifying. But, you know, sometimes I think uh, our congregations need to know where they can come alongside us and help us. You know, there's a beautiful picture, and I was reading it this morning, you know, where Moses, you know, you know Joshua, Joshua they, were, they were fighting the Amalekites in battle. And Moses told Joshua, he goes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up there and I'm gonna hold up the rod of God, the staff of God. And as long as I do that, we will win this battle. Well, you know, Moses is up there and he's holding up that staff. He's holding up that rod and God's people were winning the battle. But he got weary. The Bible says here, when Moses' arms grew tired, Aaron and Hur brought a stone for him to sit on while they stood beside him, listen to this, and held up his arms, holding them steady until the sun went down. Hallelujah. And if you read on, they won a great victory that day. They won that battle against the Amalekites, but it was because they pulled together with their leader and they helped him be strong in that moment by supporting his arms and helping him be steady in that moment as he was lifting up the rod of God. You know, your pastor is lifting up the rod of God. They're, they're holding forth the, the, the truth of God's Word in this hour. Ministers are doing that. Prophets are doing that. They're speaking forth the, the Word of God, the Word in due season that the church needs. But you know, we can't do it by ourselves. There are things that happen behind the scenes that we don't talk about, we don't magnify. But I'm gonna tell you, Paul said it, and I'm gonna say it, we need prayer partners. If you receive from somebody, if you receive from somebody's ministry, you ought to pray for them. And I just wanna encourage you to do that. Write down these ministries on your prayer list and every day release faith over them, that, you're, that God is ministering to them, strengthening them, giving them courage, uh, bringing in the money for all the projects that God's put on their heart. I'm telling you, it's a powerful time for the church. The, the world is crazy, but there are answers in the church. There's darkness in the world, but there's light in the church. And people are coming by the droves and there's just an intensity to the work of God. But don't let up on the praying. Continue to pray. Be a prayer partner with your pastor, with your church, and with other ministries. Amen. So I pray that that encourages you. Maybe you've never done that before. But I want to encourage you, become a prayer partner with your pastor. God bless you guys. I'm so glad that you tuned in. Come back next time. We've got some other wonderful truths to share with you that will really enrich your prayer life. We'll see you next time. God bless you, bye-bye. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of The Voice of Faith. We believe that God is going to do some amazing things in your life. And before you go, we always wanna give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The different ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, we would love to pray with you. Just email, message, or call the church. Thank you so much for watching today and have a blessed week.